hello, Boston. Hello. We're not going to film much of the drive there because that's not going to be super interesting. That's Tim. Tim's going to have the uh, rescue vehicle. A well-equipped Rubicon 392. We're going to get some gas and we'll start this 124-mile drive to the trailhead. All right, stopped in a little, little town called Georgetown on the way into the Rubicon. Got our radios set up here. Uh, the, the air fuel ratio on the sniper has been kind of giving me fits. We're going to start at Loon Lake. So, I'm going to have to fix that. Things are going pretty good still. The air fuel ratio on the sniper continues to be finicky and bitchy. I've had a couple backfires, and one of the guys on the way in said, That's a clean FJ. And I said, Thanks. Then I said, I'm going to go beat the shit out of it. <laughs> oh, all right, so far so good, son. What, what do you think? I think it is particularly fun. Right now, I don't think we've gone anywhere on a Civic, right? Okay. <laughs> 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 all right, I think we've officially gone where a Honda Civic couldn't go. I tell you know when you're four wheeling. Is that you've reached a spot where a Honda <laughs> a Honda would have a difficult time. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by your smile. No, it's actually not bad. What? <laughs> it's not bad, seriously. Good on easy. Right here? Yeah. Oh, jeez, dude. There's some spots here. This will be it fun. looks pretty precarious. Gosh, dang. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm following my buddy here. And I said, don't take a line that you don't think my Land Cruiser can take. He told me to go to hell. Man, this is so cool, dude. We're literally just driving on top of this granite mountain. The rear bumperette got bashed upwards on that last little hill we came down. And then my locker switch broke off. So now I gotta buy another one of those. And the unfortunate part of that is, for the rest of this trip, I have to keep my locker switch in the glove box and take it out whenever I need to activate the locker. I imagine there'll be more breakages, but we're getting there, boys. We're getting there, manpower steering. Boston, are you having a good time? Yes, this is awesome. I just go here, insert. Locker is activated. Easier than you. I don't understand that logic. I doubt that.
hear scratching sounds. Yeah. Man, those Rubicons are awesome. <laughs> Gosh. Well, yeah, we're gonna have a hard time with that one. sound was the wheel flicking up a big a big rock. I was going to say, I yeah. thought it was a rock. Yeah. We are now being winched up whale boat. Your brakes are off, right? Yeah. They're off. Ugh, some scratches. I'm just letting them run it. Let's go! <laughs> so I crashed into that log, broke the mirror or the indicator. Just fine. I know where to get those. Yeah, there she is up at the top of the hill. Boston got the footage. Hopefully. Yeah. If not, we have the experience. A little bit of carnage. <laughs> oh, that just happened? That was in that tree. That's when I banged into the tree. <laughs> Good as new. <laughs> five miles this last little rocky bit that we were on right before that loon lake entrance they were like oh yeah it's not that big of a deal um that's the last of the hard stuff kind of thing that was not the last of the hard stuff that was there was still hard stuff oh gosh some of this is still pretty rocky here boys all right so here's the campsite the infamous bridge is yonder there's a little bit of frost on the ground right there just the two cruisers for the camping. Uh, Tim and his buddy, they went and continued on for a bit. Apparently there's bear situations. Uh, so I've got, we have a bear uh, net. I told Boston that he's in luck. My forearms are so tired, I won't even try to masturbate tonight. So no power steering, 33s. It's definitely gonna be some obstacles that you're gonna run into. Uh, the locker in the rear end helped a lot. Although the switch braking, not ideal. But I'll probably put it right. Really, really beautiful here. She took seven. all. She took seven. Seven wieners. But this guy maintained his virginity. I got a first aid kit I brought, so we're ready. Are you ready? You ready to bleed? Yeah. <laughs> it's only like 24 degrees. Yeah, it's getting chilly. Sun went down. Sun's getting real low, big guy. So we're all going to get around this sausage. <laughs> Stuff it all in our mouths. <laughs> so there's this fire packet Dave brought. It's a rainbow gay packet. And you throw it in there and it makes your fire have pronouns. Look at that. Oh, you can't even tell what the... That's so cool, dude. That... Everything got a little frosty. Left all the windows down. Okay, I'm sure when the sun comes out, everything will dry up really good. For anybody who's wondering how the vents work with that new dash, it does really good. Rachel made us breakfast burritos for the trip. Egg, sausage, bacon, cheddar cheese. Really good. Uh, we're following Dave 
out of the uh, out of the trail here. I'm really noticing the issues with not having power steering. <laughs> Talking about how the fun stuff's up ahead. If it doesn't work, we'll just say it was the wrong way. Back, back to the left. Back to your left. More. Oh. More. More to your... <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, there's a bypass. Go ahead and just zoom, like, look up this. And obviously the camera's not going to tell you how extreme it is. Then look down this box. Right here. Just this ledge, especially. Especially this this exact ledge. That's like five feet down. Four feet. So yeah, Something Dave's like, like okay, well, this is where we're going next. Come down here to look at the lines. And I was just like, no shit, man. <laughs> So I just leave my Land Cruiser there then, and that's it. I never see it again. And he waited a long time before he's like, there's a bypass, we're okay. So I thought for sure we were just done. Like, done. okay, that's the end of the trip. <laughs> I just give the keys to somebody. <laughs> Thanks for trying. Shouldn't have brought your pile of shit up here. Now I'm gonna mountain climb up this. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Should have made sure that it's in gear. That I'm not in gear. Yeah, that you have an escape route that you can get out of the way if it starts to roll. I have life insurance. But yeah, just throw some rocks. I would, wouldn't necessarily take it from the line that you're going to be driving on because you need those when you move forward. But. driver's side tire on this rock and go down. Can I do that? I think so. If we, if we put a couple rocks right here, you should be able to. stretch of the Rubicon for this trip. Got ourselves a nice little granite. Whoa. All right. Dude, you should have seen us. We were bouncing around like a meth addict's heart rate. <laughs> First thing is I need gearing. I gotta figure out a way to get some gearing. I've already messaged George about an Orion transfer case. Wait, is that the huge thing in the middle between the engine and the... That's, it's between the transmission and the rear drive shaft. So that mean we have to take case. an engine out? I again? might have to take the transfer case out, but the engine won't be coming back okay. out. Second thing I need to do, I have to figure out my sniper. The AFR ratio was like all over the place. I got a video. Your fuel ratio is stuck at 9.6%. 
some reason. But, uh, I gotta figure out a way to get that sniper working right. Definitely gonna have to get some type of power steering. Thinking probably Saginaw. Uh, again, I'm gonna be talking to George. The Rubicon is fun when you don't have power steering. It's a workout though, right? Uh, but I've learned that the, there are small, several tight turns that you have to make at times. And without power steering, it's nearly impossible. You have to Austin Powers turn. So I gotta get fi power steering figured out. Lastly, um, I'm thinking about F-250 shock towers. So we'll cut out the stock shock towers, install the $40 cheap F-250 shock towers, get a little bit more articulation out of the front end. But I text, I texted George, and I, uh, this is mostly about the transfer case. But he said, you're going down a really slippery slope. But I know what he's talking about. He's talking about where you're modifying, where you're going from, crawling. from a nice restoration to a crawler. And I got it. I, because I'm now hooked on Rubicon, I've got to find some like middle ground there. So where you don't just have a pretty yeah, rig. So but it a just looks the way rig. it does, but it's capable. So that Orion case is definitely going to be part of that, but that's also huge money. So I'm going to really? have to wait. Amazing trip. Loved the Rubicon. And like I said, I'm hooked. So this is a, uh, this is a part of me so now. What's the... <laughs> I hope you guys got a chance to check things out. Um, on, I just got the tip, but it was, it was a lot. It was amazing. <laughs> Well endowed. Thank it's you. Well endowed.